Hear that? You gotta show me how it's done. Just stay close and keep an eye on my six. Oh, don't you worry, Dee. I see everything. Even that condescending reaction. So do us both a favor and watch my back. Listen to me, there's no way out back there. Three seconds from now, he's gonna come running out the same way he went in. Three, two, one. Hmm. For Christ's sakes, Myers, you just. Okay, maybe you're right. I'm gonna check around back. Myers! It's over! Show me your hands! Don't be stupid, buddy! Put your hands in the air! Now! Back up toward me slowly! Get out on your knees and lace your fingers behind your head. PC Dog Tree 296 to dispatch. We have the suspect corner behind that Auto One Depot. He's injured badly. Possible head trauma. Requesting medical. Oh. 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 Morning, around 4 a.m., when police received an, an anonymous phone call reporting an assault at this very residence. Soon after, calls reporting an erratic driver came flooding in, and after what appeared to be a near fatal head on collision off of Depot Street, the driver exited the stolen vehicle where he was confronted by two officers. Now, we understand that one of those officers was involved in some sort of confrontation with the suspect. What followed is still unclear, but be advised, there's a dangerous criminal on the loose. Stay tuned for more updates. Nice spending this time with you. She should shun the shining sun. A proper copper coffee pot. It was so nice spending this time with you. <clears throat> it was so nice spending this time with you. She should shun the shining sun. I thought a thought, but the thought I thought was not the thought I thought. It was so nice spending this time with you.
Go away. Okay. No. Okay. Where are we going? Sit down. Why are you all dressed up like that? I'm a whore. Don't move. Is there anybody else here, like in the house? Not at the moment. How much company are you expecting? Just one guy. Stand up. Stand up. Come on, you call him and tell him that he's not coming. You want me to go back into the kitchen? Yes, now. What makes you think he'll listen to me? Why wouldn't he? You just call him and tell him you're occupied. I charge five grand an hour and he's already paid the first one up front. You think I was joking? So call him and tell him you'll give him his money back. This isn't a retail store. I, I can't just offer him a refund. Look, I'll do what you say. I'll call him and tell him not to come, but you need to know that this guy, he isn't just anybody. He knows people and he is dangerous. One wrong word. Just make the call! Who are you calling? Are you missing me? Who are you calling? My client. Bullshit, you were calling the cops. Last I checked, their number starts with a nine, and what would I have said to them exactly? Those helicopters are for you, aren't they? What's your name? Well, whoever you are, I can help you, just please don't hurt me. How are you gonna help me? For starters, it looks like you need medical attention. You probably have a concussion. Well, so now you have a medical degree too? Some of my clients like to get smacked around a bit. In fact, they pay a premium for it. It's my job to know their limits, and I have successfully resuscitated so many perverts. I know what I'm doing, okay? Are you asking my opinion? Because no, I don't think you know what you're doing. I think you're scared and confused. At the very least, I know you Jesus Christ, what do you do? You talk guys into getting off? I'm just trying to help. I don't give a shit about you or what you think. I need money and I need a place to hide. If you do anything to mess with me, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. You got that? There's a safe downstairs in the dungeon. It's everything I've earned all year. Just take it and hide here as long as you want. Just please don't hurt me. Dungeon? What do you call it? The cellar? What about your company? It's a big house. I'll do what he paid me for upstairs. You can hide in the guest I'm room. I'm not hiding. Aren't you? Look, just take the money and leave. My neighbor, she's got to be about 80. She doesn't lock the door. You could stay there as long as you want. You got any, like, tape or rope or something? What for? What do you think? Top drawer. This is yarn. There ought to be tape in there, too. This is scotch tape. Is there a particular brand you'd prefer? Are you making fun of me? No. Mm -hmm. You think I'm stupid? I'm not making fun of you, and no, it's just hard to think straight under all this pressure. I, I, I'm only trying to help, and I have been nothing but cooperative. Okay. You hear that? Hear what? Ringing in the
the ears, nausea, dizziness. I was right, concussion. You should really drink something. Take me to the safe. You're gonna tie me up? I'm good. This way. at the door. Open the safe first. I'll be right back. You have my word. I just don't want to keep him waiting. I'm only trying to help when I say this, but this man, he is it's very dead. dangerous. I, I know. If anything should happen, people will come Nobody looking. Nobody is going to care about a missing whore. You raise a good point. Shining armor. Why do I keep coming back here? You sound angry. What is there to be happy about? Well, for one, you're still standing. And two, you're about to be pampered like the little lap dog you are. I'm a big dog. You know, like a pit bull or a Rottweiler. How about a St. Bernard? I always thought there was a sweetness to your soul. After all, that's why I chose you. You chose me. Sure. All the other girls wanted a piece of you, but I raised my hand and snapped my fingers and they scurried away like insects. Something just doesn't feel right. I, I don't think I should be here. You say that like you have a choice. Remember where you are. I'm with you. That's right. And you're my good boy, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. And have you been a good boy? No. Does that mean you're gonna pee on the carpet? No. Well, good, because you know if you do, I'll have to spank you. Yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> you wanna go in that other room? Would you like that? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, ma'am. Good boy. Ooh. 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 Don't Ooh. let the door hit you in the tail. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh.
Please don't hurt me. I was trying to warn Open you. Open the safe. It was only a matter of time before he checked behind the boy. No! Kill me now? I swear I'm not expecting anyone else. Shall we? Shall we what? Someone's at the door. There's a dead guy in a room where I keep stacks of dirty money. You can't get the videos. Yes, I know. Coming. Sorry, big house. Uh, that's okay. I don't want to bother you for. We don't want to bother you for too long. Should I come? Should we come inside? Uh can I just help you from in here? I just got out of the shower and I left the water running. You just got out of the shower? Uh, again, ma'am, sorry to bother you. I'm not sure if you've seen the news today, but there's been a pretty large scale manhunt for a guy who, uh, let's just say you probably don't want him near your house. We believe he's hiding out in the neighborhood. What did he do? Listen, ma'am, I'm not looking to scare anyone. He shot me. You look fine. I got lucky. We just want to make sure he does not hurt anyone else. That's right. So we're going door to door asking everybody if they've seen anything, heard anything. I've been here all day. OK. Well, he's a Caucasian male, long dark hair, big nose. It's pronounced. I haven't seen or heard anything. Are you OK? You seem to be a bit flustered. Yeah, sorry. This is just my default state. It's been a soul crushing couple of months for me. Oh. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't seem to be hurting too bad. Uh, well, you know the drill. Anything suspicious, you go ahead and give us a holler. Of course. Good luck on your search. Thank you for your service. Hey, thank you for yours. You have a good afternoon. Are you okay? 
You mentioned you were in the shower. How come your hair is not wet? Hmm? You said you were in the shower, but your hair is dry and you have a full face of makeup. I wear a shower cap for the bouffant. And the makeup, man. Uh, what's a bouffant? It's a bit dated, I know. Is it like a hairstyle? Yeah, it's this sort of poofy hair before your time. Yes, yes, my mother had something similar. You know what? You wear it better. Thank you. <laughs> okay, well, sorry again to bother. You have a great afternoon. Come on, let's go. Take care now. So you're dangerous, huh? You kill someone? Don't do that. I have a right to know. Feel nice? You really shouldn't be under all this stress. It's not in your condition. What condition? Your head, silly. You cracked it open in what was it? A car crash? Now just for my own edification, was this before or after you killed someone? Stop saying that. What? That you killed someone? I mean you did, didn't you? How did I get here? David Byrne asked that same question. And no, this is not your beautiful house. And no, I am not your beautiful wife. What happened to my arm? Oh, yeah. That's new. You uh, fell on your knife, tore right through the tendon. I mean, technically, it's my knife, but you can have it. It's pure silver. Dates all the way back to the Holy Roman Empire. True story. Where are my clothes? I get it. You've got a lot on your mind, but in any other situation, and you would care about that. Why are you doing this? You've heard of the Siegel Crime Syndicate? Well, that guy you killed is the grandson, nephew, somebody, something of the founder. Anyway, he's a bad guy who made some bad decisions, and now he's dead. I don't have to describe crime to you because you're a criminal, but um, it's a highly emotional occupation. Anyway, sometime tonight, maybe tomorrow, I guess there are gonna be some bad guys with big bad guns that are gonna come and kill us both. I don't stand a chance, but if I keep you alive, you could use that holy Roman knife you stabbed yourself with to, I don't know, save our lives. Why are you looking at me like that? Do you not believe me? Please, stop talking. I don't care. Wait, you do believe me, don't you? Who gives a shit what I think? Given the situation, I'd say you are in a pretty good situation. Not everyone who winds up on Air 7 News ends up in a steamy bath with a private escort later that night. I'm not buying any of your time. And I'm not some plaything to some bored, whatever you are, and I'm really not in the mood for whatever this is. Well said. What time is it? Some place you gotta be. Jesus Christ, is every answer a question with you? Is this your plan, huh? You're just gonna act all calm and, and, and funny and, and when I'm just supposed to sit back and trust you? You think I'm funny? I'm comfortable with you. I think we have a lot in common. <laughs> Whatever. We're both criminals. Whores aren't criminals. Mm, progressive idea, but highly inaccurate. Why didn't you kill me when you had the chance? Who says I'm not going to? <laughs> you like that, don't you? Being dangerous. Why would I like that? Fear gives you power. Power feels good, no? I'd listen to those cops. I am dangerous, and I did kill someone. Oh, I saw. You killed Freddy with a, a dog collar. And I think you liked it.
What about that other guy? What'd you do to him? I don't believe you. Nobody's coming. You see, I've been where you are before, at the mercy of somebody else. You'll say anything. Look, I appreciate this and for not killing me when you had the chance, but I don't know you shit. Now I'm gonna hide out here until whoever's in charge of finding me either gives up or dies, and when this all blows over, I will disappear. What's in it for me? You could sleep with your eyes closed. Live the rest of your life not wondering when I'm gonna come and slit your throat. Stay with me. Stop it! Stop it. that at the door who is knocking you believe me now how many of them are there could be one could be an army an army who is this guy oh now you want to listen she set this up when i was knocked out uh, unconscious you think i told freddy to beat his head against a wall i called the seagull family and had him open my front door he wasn't breathing he was dead you suffocated him he probably suffered severe brain damage but he's still alive, and now he's getting away. You gonna take them all out with that knife? <laughs> I'm not taking anyone out. I'm leaving. That seems unwise. How's that? Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Your 80-year-old neighbor's house who never locks the door. As if they haven't questioned her yet. Walk at River. <laughs> right. And when her son calls to check up on her, or she doesn't show up for bridge, which she attends every Friday at Tenderheart, what then? You're gonna have quite the bloodbath on your hands. Okay, going there was your idea. I was scared I would have said anything. You said so. So what's changed? Time. I've spent my life around truly bad people. You're different. I don't know what you're trying to do, but you're wrong about that. Why'd you kill him? Who? Police are after you for something. Why'd you do it? Give me a bag. Bottom drawer. Where'd you go? 
Huh? Where'd you put the money? Oh, we're gonna run. Oh, you're alone, aren't you? What are you doing, son? Where's the money? Look, if I was gonna poison you, I would... Ah, good. To survival. Hey. I'm sorry. Either I was wrong about the whole army thing, or they're closing in on us now and this is our last drink. Either way, I'm sorry. Truly. I know what you're doing. Do you now? There's no one else here. There's no one else coming. You hid the money when I was out cold, and you set this whole thing up just to mess with me. Do you know how stars die? Their internal engines run out, and then the crushing weight of gravity causes them to explode. Or they do reality television. Do you think that's how we'll die? The crushing guilt of everything we've ever done will just overtake us? We are nothing alike. I'm not offended. I don't actually think you blame me for anything that happened. I don't think you exactly blame yourself either. So can I venture a guess as to what's going on? I'd really rather you didn't. I think you don't know who to blame. And that must be very confusing, because if no one's to blame for your life not going according to plan, then what happened? Maybe you're cursed, mm, but you're not superstitious. Maybe God turned his back on you, but I'm guessing you wear that tattoo ironically. Maybe it's all a cruel joke, hmm? A vendetta? You consider yourself a good person, but at the end of the day, you're a murderer. You remind me of Voyager 1, playing the same record over and over again to nothing but space, and even though it's Mozart, how much Mozart can you really listen to before you want to... <laughs> who cares? Huh? If nobody's listening? Maybe that's it. Nobody's given you the time. You've been used and ignored for decades, and now here you sit, a face full of blood, and you ask yourself, how much more can my good soul endure before it turns bad? Before my Mozart turns to vanilla ice?
morphing into a full-blown manhunt. Our victim, Brian Foley, CEO of Foley Sandhawks Labor Force, was attacked in his home early this morning by suspect Finn Rossi. Rossi then fled the scene in Foley's vehicle, and after a head-on collision, officers followed a trail of blood from the wreckage to the entrance of a nearby auto body shop. Now, while his exact location is still unknown, officers have been successful in triangulating his location to the surrounding neighborhood. Officers say it is only a matter of time before this criminal is caught and brought to justice. Now, sir, I understand you live in the nearby area. Can you tell me? I hid the body in case you're concerned. Not exactly something I want my neighbors to see. Indeed, I am stronger than I look. Somewhere in between like 345 and 380. Uh, I heard tires screeching, and I just woke up. I looked out the window, and I saw, you know, my neighbor's car right across the street. And Most people watching this must think it's so cut and dry. You're just a bad dude and Foley. He must be a real angel, right? Please just stop. I don't see either of us leaving anytime soon, so why don't you just tell me what happened? Why? Why would that matter to you? I'm curious. Well, you should be scared, not curious. Please just stop. Stop what exactly? Look, we're not friends. No matter how many little stories you tell or how much bullshit conversation we have, what I did is none of your business. Stop. 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 Why don't you have any food? I don't cook. still don't trust me. I'm hungry. Take whatever you want. Just gonna leave it there with the milk. What do you eat around here? There's a Mexican place up the street. They deliver. So I take it you're staying? Where are you going? To take a shower. Uh uh. Sit down. Wanna keep your eyes on me? Fine. I get it. Guess you'll have to watch. Please, make yourself comfortable. I'm not going anywhere.
You're really just gonna watch? Sure, I can't tempt you to join me? Join me. Deb, join me. Join me. Then, think about it. $639,000 stashed up in that house. We're the only ones who know about it. Don't be stupid. I'm not. I'm not stupid. I hear them talking about you at work. They say you'd work for nothing and not even realize it. He's always been real nice to me, Jen. Trust me, it's the farthest thing from. What if you're wrong? What if he reports us? He's not gonna report his own daughter. Besides, he did. He might as well just turn his own self in. You know, besides the IRS, you're the one paying for it. You and the sand hogs. Show me a smile. What is that? I'm not good at it. You're constipated. Just a little nervous, Jen. Hey, 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 hey. I got a question for you. If you can go anywhere in the world, anywhere at all, where would it be? I don't know. Come on. You're gonna be a rich man soon. Half a mil's not gonna make me rich. He's embezzled so much more. And besides, it's 639,000, to be exact. Money like that, a place like Brazil, you're rich. Is that where you want to go? You want to go to Brazil? Well, everyone's got a dream. I've already found mine. Traders. Yeah. My daughter. What? what? Why would she report that to you? <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> she wouldn't. <laughs> it looks like she stole from me. <laughs> Found some jackass to pin it on. <laughs> oh, I'm happy she's using her brain. I can't say the same for you. or something, talk to me. Wake up, wake up! Oh, 
shit! Finn? Finn? Can you hand me a towel? What about that one? I want a fresh one. You can reuse a towel. I know you can, I just prefer not to. So can you just- Where are they? In the closet. Where's the closet? <sighs> Never mind. Someone's a sour Santa. What'd you call me? Why'd you call me a sand hog? Isn't that what you do for a living? Did? You dig tunnels? Who told you that? Finn. This really is starting to wear thin. So what's the plan? Where do we go from here? I didn't have a plan. Really? You seem like the type of guy that plans things. Thinks with your... Head. Fuck you. That's the first F-bomb you dropped all night. Hope it was worth it. You only get one. Where are you going? It's my bedtime. I didn't say you can go in there. Oh, you handsome fool. Haven't you noticed I've been doing anything I want all day? You think you control me? You're the type of guy that looks at a sculpture and feels sorry for the clay. What you should be doing is thanking her for sculpting you into something useful. Good night, Voyager One. So just because I didn't walk in here, kill you, I'm soft, I'm clay? If the kiln fits. No, it's not ironic. My tattoo was my mom's initials. When I happened to like vanilla ice, and I guess you're right. I don't know you at all. And I bet Foley got what he deserved, right? What is it you want? In life? Let's start with Foley. Money. And in life? Money. What would you spend it on? Travel. Travel? Yeah, travel. Where would you go? I don't know. Why? You must have some place in mind. I don't know. Maybe Brazil. Brazil's nice. You been? No. Why do you want to go? I don't know. Isn't that the point of travel? You go places you've never been? I don't know. The food's good. Scenery's pretty, and I want to see Machu Picchu. Might not find that in Brazil. What's your point? Aren't you curious? How much money was in that safe? You mean the money that just disappeared? Eh, the money I earned and you nearly stole. It didn't just disappear. I have it. Yeah, no shit. Do you know how many men I had to treat like dogs to earn that? Actually, the majority of it came from a client who, this is a true story, had me crush bugs with my stilettos. He brought a cardboard box full of cockroaches to my house. Now, if you ask me the psychology behind that at the time, I wouldn't know where to begin. But now that I've had some time to think about it, I think he was turned on by the idea of a powerful, murderous woman. So strong she could squash a life with just her shoe. 
Oddly enough, the more I think about it, the sexier it becomes. The idea of something so weak at the mercy of something so powerful. Thank you for letting me talk. You could have squashed me like a bug, but you didn't. Night's not over. You're right about that. 639,000. That's how much money was in the safe. 639,000. You look shocked. How did you know that? Mm -hmm. I'm a good bookkeeper, I guess. How's your head? Still dizzy? Confused? No doubt that concussion's getting worse every second. Without professional help, you might die. I'm guessing you want more than just money. What the? Shh, 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 shh. Just imagine if it had all gone according to plan. Foley was just some bad guy. Jenny was the love of your life. The two of you stuck it to the man. Took off like Bonnie and Clyde, purveyors of justice. How do you know her name? There's confusion, then hallucinations. Yeah, you definitely need some professional help. You put something in my drink. I'm guessing what you really want is independence. If I were you, I'd be so tired of people bossing me around, telling me what to do, manipulating me. I'm guessing you just want to make your own decisions for once. Finn? You still with me? Finn! <laughs> Thought I lost you there for a second. Did someone knock? I guess so. I'd find some place to hide if I were you. You guys just can't stay away, can you? Sorry to bother again, but I am. Are you okay? Yes, I just, I just feel like... Uh, You've been here before? You have, just hours ago. Do you mind if we... Come in? If you don't mind. Not at all. Who needs warrants nowadays, anyway? Certainly not when violent, evil criminals like Finn Rossi are around. Thank you for cooperating. Honey, I'm the only one operating. Why don't you check out back? Look for signs of forced entry. Yes, ma'am.
Bethel won't shoot you. Can I stand? No. What's your name? You know my name. You're scared. Just think this through. Can you do that for me? Dismissed. Just get the hell out of here. Turn yourself in, serve your sentence for assault. You kill me, and you will most certainly spend the rest of your life in prison. Murder gets you wife. Come on, I'm an idiot. I'm gonna turn around now. That's not a good idea with a gun to your head. Take my chances. Don't. Who's this person you think you murdered? I just wanted to scare me. And they had like a heart attack or something. Brian Foley. Brian Foley's alive. He was rushed to the ER this morning, critical condition, but he's gonna pull through. I didn't kill him. No. I'm gonna put these on you now, okay? Turn around slowly. Place your hands on your, behind your head. Now, get on your knees. You should have crushed me when you had the chance. <laughs> You're still a killer, Finn, and we both know it. What did you do to her? Oh, suddenly you care? She was about to arrest you. You knew about Foley. I know what the news tells me. What does that mean, really? Do you even remember how you got here? I ran. Hmm. And then what? Broken. Ah, uh, yes. And after a serious blow to the brain, you managed to evade helicopters and slip into my decadent palace through a back door, which was conveniently unlocked. Finn, if it were entirely up to me, I'd say, screw it! Let me ravage you! But I can't do that. Everyone's got a boss. Help! There is a rule book. I am trying so hard not to break. Unfortunately, I am not the author. Believe it or not, there are higher beings than myself. Now, your world states that no mass can move faster than the speed of light. It can come close, but that's just a law of physics that cannot be broken. Well, the heavens and hell, we have our own laws. For life, death, and everything in between, like marriage. Rule number one, the choice is yours. In other words, I can't decide what happens to you. And actually, well, that is the only rule. <laughs> See, blank page. So now I'm required, unfortunately, to give you something you probably feel you've never had before. Can you guess what that is? Going once. I said it just a moment ago. The answer is choice! So, in case you were worried about free will, do you have it? Is everything predetermined? Congratulations. You have it. It's really the only thing you do have. <laughs> and you've made some terrible decisions. You're in this little world of mine together. The only difference is it's your soul that's being judged here today. And you've shown some great potential. You could be so much more than... This is a dream. This is not happening. No. And yes, it is. I mean, you can call it a dream, 
That, that's a weird way of looking at it. I keep telling you, you need serious medical attention. Oh, with the car crash and the firefight with the police, I mean, your brain is bruised and you've got one foot out the door. So, if you want to call a dream anything out of the ordinary, fine, let's call it a dream. But real talk, this is a million times closer to how things really are. This is where you either find your will to live or you choose to leave it all behind. Finn, just because I have this whole free will spiel down, I don't want you to think that I am some whore for souls. You are my favorite. Stay here with me and I'll guarantee that no one will ever control you again. I'll give you everything you desire. Hey! Look familiar? Now this over here, that's where you broke in. And this is where you scared that poor man to death. Hey, you still with me? Look, nobody arrives at death's door with a completely open mind. It takes some adjusting. I do my best to ease you in, but at the end of the day, it's still wonky. <laughs> and all this, well, this is all you. Your memories, your fears. Just like a dream. Guess you have a thing for insidious redheads. Ben Brassi, the oh. suspect of this morning's manhunt, was found alive, although unconscious, along with Officer Daughtry, veteran on the force, proud mother of two. Our reps on the scene report a struggle between Daughtry and the suspect in what can only be described as some sort of standoff, which ended poorly for them both. Our thoughts and prayers are with Officer Daughtry, as we understand she is in critical condition. But hey, let's face it, she probably deserved it. I'm sure she'll burn in hell. Right, Finn? In case you're wondering, you're not dead. Yet. You're somewhere in between. Did I kill her? That's for you to decide. She's here with you, somewhere in between. You shot her, she shot you, it was a whole thing. And now every second that goes by, you just get weaker and weaker until, bye bye What do you want? Haven't you been listening? <laughs> or are you what everyone says you are? A simple-minded, albeit handsome fool. I? want you to stay here with us forever. Us? My girls. Ishtar. Manya. Sekhmet. Neama. And yours truly, Valifar, Duchess of the Underworld. Friend to the wayward, lover of a good time. You can call me Val. I'm not having a good time. You're not? You're not listening. We will take care of you. We'll give you everything that Jenny wouldn't. <laughs> I don't know where you think you're going. Remember what's waiting out there for you, Finn? God, when you arrived, you were in so much pain. You were just a scared little baby. Do you even remember the last time you were happy? Do you even remember what that is, Finn? Happiness? Well, it only gets worse for you out there. You never have to go back!
nervous. The plan? Tonight? You're so good for it, right? Yeah. See? Coming back here wouldn't change a damn thing. Cat Ranch? <laughs> be like them. The ones outside, they never had a choice. Why me? You have demonstrated complete commitment to the woman you love. For Jenny, you were willing to kill, steal, God knows what else. And that is the type of commitment I have been searching for. Promise your soul to me, Finn. Commit yourself to me and you will be free. Things you don't even know you want, I can give you. You'll never feel foolish again. Used or manipulated. Now, come on. That's a hell of a proposal. You're out of your mind. Just say yes, man. I can use the company. Or say no. And get 25 to life. Why the deliberation? I can give you anything you want. I can summon anyone from your life. Look who made it to the wedding. Mom, what are you doing here? Look down, Finn. You've got a lot on your plate. Oh, shh. Where am I? Where's my body? You're under arrest. You're gonna run in the cell, buddy. I'll make sure that. <laughs> She's in my head. Stop this! Kill me, Finn! Put me out of my misery! You'll never have to go to prison! You'll never have to face your own life again! Finn, look at this place! Isn't this what you call luxury? You could stay here, with us! Sure, it would feel new and strange at first, but you'd adjust. Here, you'd be a god! You'd never age. And you can have anything you want. Just the snap of your fingers. All you have to do is take that Holy Roman knife and drive it through her skull. Take her soul, and I'll have yours. I feel cold. Please help me. Please help me! Come on, Finn! She's practically begging you! Tick tock. Come on, Finn. She doesn't have very much longer. Please, Finn. It's me, please. Please. No. I'm sorry? Kill me. Send me to hell. I don't give a shit. I'm not hurting anyone else. Don't be a fool, Finn! You're talking about a head on a plate here. Out there, you had no problem shooting her in the gut. Now look at her. She's suffering. Finish what you started. If I kill her here, then she's she's dead like forever, ever. Is that that that's that's how it works? I shot you, Finn. You ran and I shot you right through the arm. I'm not your pal. She was aiming for your chest. She wants to lock you up, put you away forever. Because of her, you will never have a life again. Don't be a little bitch. Kill me. Kill. <gasps> Do it. Do as I say, and no one will ever control you again. Commit to me, and we will rule together. Send me back. Oh, Finn. You have a history of making some bad decisions. Send me back! Do this, Finn. Send me back! Send me back! So nice spending this time with you. PC Daltrey 296 to dispatch. 
We have that suspect cornered behind Doc Auto on Depot. He's badly injured. Possible head trauma. Requesting medical. Over. Hey, hey, hands behind your back. Now. Yeah, All right, stand up. Are you good? Yeah. You seen this guy before? Yeah, I don't know. He looks kind of like... Like an asshole. Hmm. All right, come on, let's go. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.